Uh, or actually, we have Brent Hanneman. Brent Hanneman, director of product at AvidBots. Uh, director of product at AvidBots. I'm going to throw those headphones on. We're live here on LinkedIn, so say hello, say good morning. Good morning. All yes, right, good morning. cool. So, Skyler, how are not Skyler, Brent? Yeah. Sorry. Not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> um, so, how are you doing this morning? How's things going? Good. Good. It's been a busy show. Things are going well. Definitely, definitely. So tell us a little bit about uh, Avid Boss. We've never had you on the, the podcast before, so, so give us a little scoop on what it is you guys do. Gladly. Uh, Avid Boss is a autonomous floor scrubbing um, and cleaning robotics company. Mm -hmm. So a little bit different than a lot of the automated solutions around here, uh, mostly even uh, on material handling space. Uh, we right. actually focus on the actual cleaning um, yeah. in the spaces. Like We're not that. just in warehouses, but we are. Uh, yes. You know, well, pretty... Cleaning super important in the warehouse, so I like that. It is. Yeah. It is. It's uh, it seems to be also one of the things that uh, falls off a little bit in the back. We've had a lot of customers come yes. by or, or yeah. folks come by by the show saying that they uh, they want to spend more time doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, but labor, as you know, is uh, it seems seems to be a problem these days. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So so tell us a little bit about the the solution. I mean, you said it, it cleans, right? But it, it's basically is it like a floor scrubber that's automated? Tell us a little bit about the, the solution. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, basically, it's a autonomous floor scrubber. Mm -hmm. uh, so typically, uh, the scrubbers in a warehouse would be ride-ons or um, stand-on uh, scrubbers that people mm -hmm. would drive around the warehouse. Um, so if you have a million square, square foot warehouse or even a quarter of a, a, quarter of a million square foot warehouse, yeah. uh, there's still a lot of uh, labor and time associated with actually driving those those machines around. Yeah, that's, that's like a full-time job at that size. Yeah, yeah it should be. Yeah. It should be. Um, so what we're offering is basically a, an autonomous solution so that it's done uh, completely without an operator intervention mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of just basically dumping and changing the water. Um, so the, the robot basically gets deployed to mm -hmm. our deployment techs. Uh, they come in, they map the facility, uh, they generate cleaning plans with our customers, and then uh, basically the robot can go through and, and keep that warehouse clean. Mm -hmm. um, and the operator just has to tell it where to go, where to go clean for the day. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's such an important thing. I mean, uh, you know, warehouses that I, I've worked in, we put the emphasis on on cleaning. Um, actually, when I when interview employees that were going to work in the warehouse, one of the interview questions was, how do you feel about cleaning? So it's super, super important to be able to, to keep your space clean um, and, and organized. And, you know, not only from just the health and, and well-being, but also from a safety perspective as well as you're doing that floor scrubbing, you're, you're knocking down the dust, but you're also able to, you know, take any little chips that might be around from pallets and, and things like that um, to, to prevent accidents on forklifts or, or trips or falls, anything like that. So super important. And it's great that you guys are, are automating it because it is something that like you said will fall you know to the side right it's like oh we need an extra body well pull them off the floor scrubber get them to throw boxes in the, the truck or something like that right so so very very important to, to do that and I, i'm curious you know where did the the thought or the, the idea come from to to let's uh let's automate the floor scrubbing where, where did that kind of come from um well we're a relatively young company we're a nine-year-old mm -hmm. company yeah. uh, and our founders uh, when they uh when they when they started out they were looking to uh as two robotics engineers as it were mm -hmm. um looking for a way to actually help bring robotics into everyday life. Um, and the okay, cleaning the cleaning aspects um, is really one of the, probably the, uh, let's say, killer applications, and particularly for a, autonomy that, that expands multiple verticals. So it's not just warehouses, but retail stores, um, hospitals, shopping centers, and things like that as well. Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a very underserved market. So right now, in terms of labor costs and things like this, uh, it, there's about... Uh, about 30% of the labor market that actually should be out there for cleaning, regardless of right. whether it's logistics or, or in retail, just isn't there. Mm. Um, so that labor shortage just really hit that market uh, really hard. And yeah. so that's where they wanted to focus to, to be able to make that solution. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's such a, I mean, that's such an interesting point because it's like, you know, we, we want things to be clean, right? And we complain when they're dirty, but then when it's time to like spend the money to, <laughs> to clean, it's like, it's like, oh, cut it. And it's like, what? Why? Um, so, so being able to, to automate that, I mean, talk to us about, you know, how your customers are kind of utilizing the, the Avid bots to, to be able to, to help them do that cleaning. I, I mean, because I, I guess if it's automated, you can, you can clean it at, at any time, essentially, right? Is that, is that the case? Yeah, pretty much. So the, the robot can 
effectively run all day, every day. If uh, if you put fill it up with water and empty it out um, yeah. as it goes, yeah. So um, basically, we're we're leveraging an autom autonomous system. Mm -hmm. um, the robot typically runs for six hours uh, straight without any uh, without any intervention. So if you go ahead and it's got enough battery power and, and water. Yeah. Um, so our customers, uh, we have customers that that use the robot three times a week, uh, eight hour shift. Mm -hmm. um, basically running it through we have other warehouses that are running four robots and running them oh, uh, all eight to ten hours a day it really depends yeah. on on which uh, you know, how, how important is clean for those customers uh, we see that mm. it's getting more and more important as they, they yeah. do that and as they can see that they can actually then get that labor they don't need the labor to actually then um, uh, make it happen then it works um, mm. and they, they actually clean more yeah uh, so one of the things that really helps also with our solution um, uh, that, that's out there is especially in those larger warehouses we really have a solution that's designed for warehouses so there's a lot of autonomous scrubbers out there that's uh, kind of a new market but there's a lot of comp competition out there right. um, but we have deployments in several hundred uh, warehouses uh, across the globe um, we really mm -hmm. use that to hone the solution specifically for uh, for warehouses uh, yeah. just to make sure they keep going so we have some like debris diverters for things like this to make sure that the debris is getting pushed out of the way so we're not okay. sucking that up and stopping the robot which right. is typical yeah um, we have special uh, machine learning and autonomy to uh, recognize pallets and, and forklift tines so that we don't uh, we don't hit them we can go around them because yeah. it's it's a very yeah. very tricky thing for yeah. a lot of autonomous equipment to be able to see those things because they usually sit uh, mm -hmm. low to the ground right um, it's something that's easy to miss so we've done a lot of work and work with our customers to, to really improve upon that uh, so that they don't have to spend that labor um, right. and and they can they can let it run and it's kind of set it and forget it kind of kind yeah of yeah it. yeah and that's that's definitely what you want when you have uh, some type of solution like that you don't want to you you're doing it right because you don't want to pay attention to it right and so you know if it has to stop or something like that then it's you know it's kind of defeating the purpose so it's great that you guys are taking that into consideration and i love the the fact that you're taking into consideration that uh, uh debris uh debris spreader debris diverter diverter yeah. debris, debris diverter right i think that's that's super important because as, as we know if you work in the warehouse you know all the time you're getting you know little pieces of pallet or cardboard or wrap or something that's like you know ending up on the floor so really really important to, to be able to have that and it's it's great what you guys are doing i love that you you've automated this this part of the warehouse because i think it's super important like i, I would say the, the companies that say they have four robots running eight to ten hours i think those are good companies i would say um but <laughs> <laughs> so if people are interested i want to thank you coming uh, for coming to the booth brent but uh if people are interested in learning more about mm -hmm. avid bots how can they do that uh well if they're around and watching the podcast today they can stop by the booth okay. uh, we're we're here yeah um, booth and, number uh, am i putting you on the spot on the spot and i okay. forgot i'm sorry i'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get in trouble by skyler later oh. um but uh nothing <laughs> stop by the booth so visit yeah. avidbots.com mm -hmm. um and check with the materials so there's uh, use cases and uh and stories there so they can get that also a contact directly on the website so they can get a hold of us and and we'll, we'll reach out to them and no. All right, great. So, Brent, thank you so much for stopping by the booth and telling us about Avid Bots. Definitely Appreciate keep it. that warehouse clean. All right, so thank you very much, right. Brent. Take care.